dress today if I seem weird. That's what's happening. I got up at four or something this morning. I'm still tired. I might still be sleeping. Is this a dream? We're in Oregon on the Columbia River. But we're gonna get out here today and catch a giant sturgeon from a boat. It's boat lunch with Nate P. And then we're gonna make you a beautiful warm winter vegetable salad. <laughs> Have a nice time with us today on Shore Lunch with Nate P. Join us, will you? This river's like a goddamn ocean. It's gigantic. I don't know shit about anything. I've been skunked enough out here. Sometimes the best thing to do is just save your pennies, hire up a guide. So we got our pal Charles up front. We got our pal Austin over here. Everybody's warm and toasty. Everybody's feeling good. Production assistant Will's here today. We're cruising around looking for I'm some weird. fish. They're weird looking, but usually they'll be long. I mean, you'll see the fins on them sometimes. Captain over here has got the old uh, scanner taking a look, the old sonar. Talk to me about maybe the naysayers that, that would say that it's cheating and using technology to, cheating? to locate the fish. Who said, who said anything about cheating? I mean, you got this huge expanse of water that these fish can just cruise around willy-nilly. We're in one little tiny boat, man. Like anything we can use to help find some fish, I think is totally legit. Jet. He sits a waypoint at the fish and then he goes right above it and then we cast back. Oh, the gotcha. Fish. So see, I dropped it's a waypoint cheating. on where I saw those fish. Yeah. It's I'm cheating. I dropped sure. a target on him and it tells me how many feet away from that waypoint I am. That's not cheating. He set a waypoint over the top of that fish. That's cheating. Yeah. You see this? Opposable thumbs leads to this sweet electronic shit. I don't think it's cheating at all. <laughs> we got big river hooks. Look at this fucking thing. Sharp as a tack. 130 pound Dacron leader, 130 pound line. That's a two pounder, look at this thing, it's heavy. I didn't get to work out this week. Got some stinky ass shad. <laughs> now when you put these on, do you have to thread the line around them? Half hitches. You do, you do the half hitches. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they just, if you could smell right now, they just stink. <clears throat> uh, we got the lines in, we got the bait down at the bottom, 115 feet of water. When we get a bite here, these gentlemen are gonna show me how to set the hook. It's a tricky thing. And I guess you gotta wait longer than you think. Yeah, we got some, there's little actions happening over here. We're looking for that rod to buckle over. God, this is fucking thrilling. You know, as the old, dirty old pervert Mick Jagger said, you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might get what you need. We had a little tiny action on the on that rod tip there. It just went, ooh, 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 ooh. You are the man right now. Oh, yeah! <laughs> are we on? Yo! Real, real, real. Catch oh, up yeah. Through. There you go. Floating backwards. So. Yep. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Holy shit, dude. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This thing's a fucking monster, man. Whoa! Oh. Oh shit, is he running at the boat? Yeah. <sighs> Did I lose him? Holy crap. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Are you seeing this? How big of a fish is this, you suppose? Five feet? <laughs> At least eight feet? Real, real, real. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. You know, when you wait so long for a fish, you ah. pressure on the one this is nuts! Holy Christ! This is like real, real, real. Oh, this is a workout. This is insane. I've never felt anything like this. I'm getting a crotch cramp. There is no way that I can make people understand this. Oh! oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
Oh. Holy shit. You can see a shadow. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Ugh. There he is. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. 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 Wow. Holy fuck. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow, look at him. Okay, you ready? Sure. I'm gonna try to kiss him. Oh, I don't think I can even bend over that far. Yeah, he might not even get a kiss. Look at that guy. Get a good release on these guys? Yeah. Grab by that side fin like this? Yeah. Pull by the mouth? Yeah. Wait, this guy. Wow! <laughs> like <a> job. <laughs> <sighs> Holy Moses, man. That was incredible. I'll find you a bigger one. Okay, let's do it, man. I've been wanting to catch one of those fish for so long. <sighs> man. How big do y'all think that fish was? Seven foot. Seven foot? Seven foot. Yeah, seven foot. And it must have weighed, I mean, buck fifty? At least. Christmas time holiday. This is one of Santa's barge. That's the Santa, as a matter of fact. Santa! <laughs> Yay! All right. Oh, we're moving up into the dam to try to find another fish. Another one. Oh, yeah, dude. Another big one, huh? Not yet. Knows the dregs? Not yet. Yeah, you're good. Not yet. Give it to him. Oh, there you go. oh shit! <laughs> oh man, I just put that right in my rib. Oh, this is a big honker. Oh, <laughs> this one's way bigger. It's gonna take a while. This one's gonna take us a while. Oh shit! Oh. Oh fuck! Oh holy shit, dude! Ah fuck! Oh, oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, 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 oh fuck you, man. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Is he off the bottom yet, even? No. Fuck, man. Oh, fuck you. Oh. Uh, Damn it, man. Uh, ah, shit. Uh, fuck. Ah, uh, 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 fuck. Uh, 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 uh. This is a big fish, man. I had to get all this young handsome Austin here to give me a little <laughs> a little help in hand. I didn't think I was going to need assistance, but the captain says it's okay. We got a big ass fish on. I set the hook on it like a real professional. We've been fighting for 20 minutes and there's been three of us working on this fish right now. Four of us working on this fish. Four or five hundred pounds. That's the estimate. I mean, you don't know. It could be a, uh, it could be like a soaked sleeping bag. Ooh. Big man. He's big. He's done. He's gassed now. Woo, baby. Oh. There we go. There's his burp. Oh. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. That's a big one. This is the biggest one of the day for sure. It took uh, four of us hit to pull it in. 30 minute fight. Incredible. Incredible. Nine. Nine foot. Look at this big cavernous gullet. That's a beefy fish. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let's let this guy go. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Man, what a day this has been. As I words can, I got I gone stupid. <laughs> These are a different breed of sturgeon. These are not lake sturgeon uh, from Wisconsin. These are powerful beasts. I mean, this thing was 400 pounds. 
nine feet long. And the beauty of this whole thing is, is you get this fish up, you fight it, you turn them over on its belly, right down to the bottom. Clean release, clean hook sets. The whole day has just been fucking magical. Captain Charles, yeah. thank you. Broken back fishing. Austin, thank you. Who's getting hungry? Maybe we should go have a little bite to eat, huh? We just ripped back into town to Portland. It looks like a little bit better chance of no rain here in Portland. So we got out of the gorge. We're here under the beautiful St. John's Bridge. Thinking back to my old time in the old uh, art school, is this gothic architecture? What do you think? It's cool as shit, whatever it is. <laughs> it's the holidays right now. Everybody is porking out on hefty duty food. So today we're gonna make a hearty in season vegetable salad. But we forgot the goddamn pan to roast the squash and roast the walnuts in. So what would be the most important thing to bring today of all everything? Cold beer. <laughs> pan. Pan is probably the most important thing. We got this little bowl. We're going to try to roast our nuts in this thing. Delicata squash, organic kale, some organic Brussels sprouts that I chopped up pomegranate, orange, and some thyme, Granny Smith apple, blue cheese, equal parts white wine vinegar, and some really nice olive oil. I'm just going to cut off a little bit of this uh, thyme. Just gonna kind of pinch it to open up the flavors. You know what's kind of nice? If you put these here, it's like two little uh, extensions of my hat. Can you hear me right now? Huh? We're just using this to catch the seeds. If there's even seeds in here, I don't know. Orange thyme vinaigrette. All these flavors are gonna be so nice together. We're gonna have a little fun with this kale. We're gonna do some massaging. You know what this does? Helps break it down and make it tender. Okay, let's chop this up. So the kale is going to go right in here into our salad bowl. I'm just going to give it a little squirt of this lemon for freshness. Put just a little bit of olive oil in there. We're going to salt. Quick toss. I'm going to add in these uh, Brussels. Look at how nice this looks with these two different contrasting greens. We're going to roast up some walnuts. They don't need to be totally crushed. I don't want them to burn. So I'm just kind of holding them off the fire a little bit, warming the pan up letting some of these oils come out. I'm almost glad we didn't bring the pan. Oh. Hey, they're done. Mm. They just have a nice salty toastiness to them. That's gonna be really good in this salad. I'd usually hold off and do this kind of last, but you know what? We gotta use our roasting pan for roasting squash now. They're nice tender squash with a really thin skin. So you don't need to do any sort of peeling or shaving of them. We're scrumping it scrumping the squash. Just thin little slices. Pretty little pumpkin. Mmm. The flavor on these is just sweet and delicate. They're gonna be so good once they're roasted. Oregonian butter of the salted variety. Does that work for you? We're gonna brown the butter. Gonna add in a little olive oil to stop that cooking process. We're just gonna let these cook in this nice butter oil mix. Invite a little salt to that party, huh? How about a little pep pep? These are getting so nice. They're almost frying a little bit in here, which I'm really excited about. All right, this first batch is done because I don't want to burn my little finguses. I'm gonna just use this for what the good Lord intended it for. Okay, I'm gonna add in the rest of these. May I present to you, my friend, Granny Smith. You like Granny Smith apples? More of a Honeycrisp guy myself, but in this salad, this tart, sweet little apple is gonna bring things to the next level. Chef Street. Mm. We're gonna take these slices and just put them in. We're gonna talk about pomegranate today. We're gonna put some water in the bowl. <gasps> Rain, let's be fast. Take your pomegranate, take the top, cut into it just like so. You're gonna cut it in quadrants, like so. I'm just cracking these open and I'm putting these seeds into the water. There we go. Get those seeds in there. I think this is gonna be enough here. I'm gonna scoop out icky shit. Gently get rid of these. Drying them off with clean clown rag. <laughs> Raise your hand at home if you like blue cheese. Look at it. Oh, man, you need a lot of this cheese for this salad. There's a lot of good things going on here today. We're gonna add in our squash pieces, these pomegranate seeds. Little orange vinaigrette. Let's eat. Can you see the rain at home? We're in Portland, this is what happens. Try to get a little bit of everything. This is a salad right here. 
silky, sweet, bitter, tart, all avenues of Flavortown congregate. It's so many different parts wrapped into one. Can we say Flavortown? Oh! <laughs> Pork cam today is in honor of someone very special. That special person's name is Darren Hillman. Darren, your partner Kat reached out to us and she said she wanted to give her partner a very special holiday treat. So Darren, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. I'm gonna sing you a little holiday song. Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays, dear Darren Hillman. Happy holidays to you. That's a hell of a boat, huh? Caught the biggest fish of my life today. Can't even begin to describe how it feels to you right now, except it feels pretty good. See you next year, America. I got bad fishing in my system.